Hello everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to paint this bracer so that it looks nice and metallic. I like to use spray paint because it dries quickly and it covers everything nice and even and it's fast to apply. When painting for a metallic look, I always start with black. Everything gets painted black first. After letting that dry for a couple hours, I use the sponge method to put on whatever color of metallic paint that I plan on using. In this video, I'm going to be using silver. Any type of sponge will work. I've used a variety of different ones. In this video, I'm going to be using one of these sponges, which is commonly used for doing the dishes, but in this case, we're going to be using it for something much more awesome. If it has a scratchy side, try to avoid using that. The soft, spongy side is a lot better. Wipe it across your bracer so that it covers almost everything, but doesn't reach into the cracks. It's better that the black shows through along the creases. So wipe it, dab it, add more spray paint to your sponge if you need, and get that nice rugged look. Don't paint it super even, but even enough so that the majority of the surface area is covered. If you mess up, you can always re-spray paint it black, and then try this again as many times as you need. The sponged on paint is going to take less time to dry than the initial black base coat. Once that's okay to touch, it's time for us to add a little bit of detailing. I use acrylic paints. It doesn't have to be anything super fancy either. This particular black is paint that I got from the dollar store. Use a small brush, ones that can get into the detailed creases of your bracer. You only want to get the tip covered in paint and then gently go across into all the creases and add a black line. I like to use my fingers a lot to smudge the paint around so that way it doesn't have a hard line but more of a faded look. The less paint you have on the brush, the better for when you want to go across and rub it or smudge it. Use your hands where you need to, go over parts multiple times until you have the desired look. I'm painting black in all the creases and then feathering it down just a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely even, in fact it's better if it's not. Once all the shadows are painted in, it's time for the highlights. I'm using a nice shiny silver. You could also use white or a lighter version of whatever metallic color you have. Highlight along the top part of details or along the front part of edges. Since the paint dries flat, you don't need to worry about smoothing out all the paint for this stage. Wait for this to dry, and the last thing to put on is a gloss, a nice see-through coat that's going to protect everything and keep all your acrylic details from smudging if they get wet. If you put on a coat of gloss before all the paint is dry, you're going to get puckering. If you're making something metal, this is not a bad thing. In fact, I'm going to go for it in this tutorial. Use a bit more gloss than you normally would, make sure it's fully covered, and do it the same day that you've painted all the other parts of your bracer. You're going to get edges that pucker, but it's going to look really cool as if the paint on your bracer is cracking and exposing a bit of the black underneath, and it just makes it look old and rugged, and it's great. If you do not want this, let your bracer sit for about 24 hours and don't put a very thick coat of gloss on it. Once the gloss is dry, you have something like this. Nice, shiny, detailed, shadowed and highlighted and ready for cosplay. Thanks for watching.